Part 1. White Clouds. Ethereal Moon. The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the blue sea star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary, at a time when the monastery was under renovation. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. I am spending my days with devotion to my studies. There is something I think of when looking at you. I am feeling that the way you are teaching would give me great benefit. Is it possible to be switching to your class? I would like to be requesting that of you. I have so much gratitude. I'm still without... Uh, still not used to the speaking of your language. But I have full comprehension. Please, Professor. Teach me all of the things you know. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, 
Protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Uh, somebody, help me! You stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! Beasts were actually students. How can this be? Thank you. But my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? That beast. There's a stone or something on its forehead. No hesitation. Not bad. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. You really think you can keep going? Don't push yourself too hard. Thinking about what happened at Ramire Village, it's clear you've gotten a hang of being a leader. Maybe you should have taken command of me too. <laughs> My body and mind. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me! Thank you. Trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Ramire. Perhaps. Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here. You must survive, merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. The first time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet, I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid.
So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Control yourself. Though Gerald's death was at the hands of wicked ones, a fate is still a fate. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. That part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat? Day 2 of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Geralt would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmark. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning.
Your mother. She was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? <laughs>